Yeah. Well, I'm not doing anything, guys. Nah, nothing at all, nothing at all. Nah, just trying to make a new video. Trying to think outside the box. <laughs> yeah, you're crazy. You're definitely crazy. Yeah. 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 Well, let me go ahead and hit you back, okay? Man, I wish they'd make smaller phones, put the antenna down. What's up, YouTube? It's your boy, Willie the Gun Guy. You know what I'm saying? I got another unboxing video for you guys. You know what I'm saying? I mean, let me tell you, let me tell you why unboxing videos is good real quick before we even hop into it. Unboxing videos is good for two reasons. One, y'all get an unboxing video, and then y'all get a shooting video. You know what I'm saying? So listen, today, you know what I'm saying? I spent, I, I went to the store, spent, spent some bread, you know what I'm saying? It's my little early Christmas gift to myself. Um, surprised they had this in store and I had to cop it because I've been wanting this all year. They have not had it all year. Ever since COVID came and ever since all this, you know what I'm saying, pandemic, they have not had this gun in store. So I'm actually pretty excited to show you guys this. Sorry about that. Comment down below before I even show you guys this box. Let me know what you guys think. It's a little cheap box with a big package inside. Three, two, one. Oh, yes. Yes, Willie the Gun Guy did do it. He had to go do it. Um, there's a couple of things I want to change on here. Uh, starting with the SBR, you know, even though it's not a P90 and it's a PS90, I definitely want to go ahead and get that short barrel rifle. So, tax stamp it is. Tax stamp is on the way, guys. Come on. I'm definitely paying for that short barrel rifle. So, you know, I know. Ah, I'm just kidding. So, boom. Boom. Let's go ahead and get a look at this, guys. Ugh. She's so pretty. Ah, I've been wondering for so long. Show you guys the other side. <clears throat> Boom. Come on, guys. Come on, guys. That is lovely. So, actually, this is this is a pretty weird gun, by the way, because I was stuck for the first... Uh, let me scoot that back a little bit. For the first about I guess not hour but for the first about 10 minutes you know what I'm saying I was stuck getting the mag out you know new things always come so this is the mag guys see-through mag this is the 30 round mag uh, I'm not a hundred maybe maybe because of some station regulations you have different ma rounds for I mean I'm sorry different mags for different rounds so this is uh, a 50 round mag but they have something in there that stops it at um, 30 so so 30 round, 50 round mag that stops at 30. Um, can't lie, I was like, man, where do you cock this gun back at, right? I was looking all over for it. I was like, man, where do you cock this gun? Right there, are you serious? And a cool and a neat feature is, and a lot of guns don't have this anymore, but this is ambidextrous. Both ways, you can shoot left and right hand forward. You can cock it back left and on the right side. So right here, you have the safety. So they got safety for S. One, I'm pretty sure that means semi-auto because you can only shoot one bullet at a time. Boom, 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 boom. As fast as you can though. Um, <clears throat> so they got safety and then semi. Uh, then you have, like I said, cock it back right there. There you go. PS90, they got the caliber right there, 5.7 by 28. Uh, FN made in Columbia, South Carolina. I think that's what SC stands for. If I'm wrong, guys, don't do me in the comment section. Fabrique Nationale Harstal Belgium. That must mean something about Belgium. I'm not going to cap with you guys. So, 
And then here's the other side, guys. Like I said, pure ambidextrous. It looks exactly the same. Isn't that crazy? Uh, boom. Boom. And then, like I said, you also have the safety on this side as well. Um, so, and then also on this side, just as that side, you have the mag release. Man. First off, let me let me know what you guys think about this and about my crazy purchase, my Christmas gift to myself. Um, let me know what you guys think. And also, if anybody has a PS90, let me know what that means. I, I could search it up on YouTube, but I rather I rather let my subscribers, you know, tell me what it means. I don't want to go cheat myself. Um, so that's the PS90, guys. Now let me sit this right here, cause there's a couple things that we're all gonna learn today. One, we're gonna learn how to load this PS90, cause I definitely didn't know how to do it at first. Uh, but let me show you what's in the box. Pretty disappointing what's in the box, knowing the price of the firearm. Hey, I'm not bashing nobody. One, it could have came with a hard case, but hey, you know, FNs rarely, uh, the FNs, I, I haven't bought an FN yet that had a hard case. Um, I bought the F, the 503, I bought the uh, 509, um, and now this FN. I haven't bought the, the Ruger, I mean, not the Ruger 57, the FN 57. Um, but yeah, it doesn't, doesn't come with hard case. None of those came with hard cases. The good thing is it did come with the travel bags uh, and the 503 and the 509. So this is what comes inside the box. Like I said, it's just disappointing. Come on guys. I don't need that. What the f give, me, give, me, give me something that I, give me, give me a big travel case. You know what I'm saying? Uh, confirm your FN purchase online. Probably won't do that. Uh, you know what I'm saying? Probably will. I don't know. I'll look into it. Firearm safety depends on you. No cap. Um, you know, if you have guns out, make sure the guns isn't loaded. But realistically, it's not it's not something that you play around with. Um, you know, make sure you are, you're always in a controlled environment, unless it's like your house and then someone breaks in and you gotta take them down. Uh, like a big bear that was chasing after you, boom, you know what I'm saying? But other than that, if you're at home, you know, some people practice at home, you know, I would say, I would recommend me personally, if you're going in and out your room, checking rooms, boom, 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 um, as, as practical though, not doing it like literally. I would say practice with a BB gun, set up some targets, practice with a BB gun, um, and use it like it's a real firearm. As long as you know how to use a firearm, if you practice with a BB gun, it's, it's the same thing with without the possibility of you taking someone's life on accident. Uh, so, like I said, firearm safety guys, be safe. Definitely be safe. Um, other than that, what did you do, run to the mailbox? Hey, she got, she got speeders, guys. Other than that, what else was in the box? We have, I'm not gonna lie to you, not 100% sure what this is. Um, comment down below, guys, what you think this is. Like I said, I'm not 100% sure what it is. It's maybe some tools to take the gun down. Boom. And then we got this. Boom. So, I, I don't know. I don't know. Maybe yeah. Maybe I might have to watch a video on YouTube on how this thing goes. Um, and then we have, as always, I have like a thousand of these. Not literally, but I wish. But I had like a thousand of these. A gun lock. You got your auto loading carbine owner's manual. Don't tell me that gun can auto load itself. Because if it can, that's going to be the best thing ever. Um, so also what we have is we got this M1913 USG rail instructions. Uh, so I guess... So I guess that's what the tool is for. Um, I guess you can take the rail off. Um, I don't know. I actually don't know. I just... Yeah, oh wow, look. Look at that. There's one of the tools right there. There's one of the tools right there. You see what happens when you read, guys? But other than that, an empty box. So, kind of disappointed. Look, even the box knows disappointing. You know what? It's okay. 
kind of disappointing in the aspect of what you get inside the box by spending that much money. Um, but other than that, they say you get what you pay for, but I guess that's not true anymore. And then we have the actual 5.7 ammo. Uh, let me tell you something, guys. 5.7 ammo is definitely expensive. Um, definitely expensive. For this box right here, 50 cartridges. And this is just because I need it. I probably won't be doing that anymore. But 50 cartridges, 100 bucks. So $2 a round if you guys can do that math. But here's the cartridge. Here's what it looks like. Boom, no bigger, it's about an inch. Uh, and then that's that five, seven by 28. Uh, when I say let's learn how to load it is because this mag has some type of, so the, so the bullets actually face up and down, but you put it in straight. So once you push it in, it has some type of mechanism that twists the bullet in, then it fills. So let's go ahead and do this together on camera. So of course, Push the first one in like that. Um, and this is where it gets complicated. Do you just, okay, you guys see that? I oh, got air broke again. So when you push it in, it, it twists it. Let me, let me put a little force in this because it's definitely not working out how I wanted it to. So there you go. If you guys can see that, okay. Not a good angle, but there, boom. You push it, boom. And then it twists the cartridge in. So pretty neat, 30 round mag right here. Um, <clears throat> yeah, so stay tuned. Let me know what you guys think of the P90. Um, there go the pull. They're gonna reset. Reset. There go to P90, guys. Have a good day. Willie the Gun, guys, out.